What's up guys? This is Ian with Zing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Zing Pilot application to make an autonomous delivery. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see here on the app that we have in the top left of the FPV view. You can just tap that to swap between that and the map. Once you turn on your drone and it acquires its home point, you'll see these two little white up arrows, meaning that's where the uh, aircraft's current home point is located. And then there's a small drone icon located behind that, which has the real-time location of the drone. To select a delivery coordinate, just zoom in on the spot you want to deliver to, and to tap that spot. You can see the two down arrows representing where the drone will fly. When you attach the package to the drone, make sure you take off first and put the package on there, and then you tap launch. So I'll go ahead and get started here. So you can see this hook is hanging down, and all I need to do is attach the box to this hook. Alright, I'm going to gain a little bit of altitude to get out of the way of any trees or anything. And now I'll just go ahead and click launch. And you can see it's on a waypoint mission. It's ascending to 100 feet. And now it's going to start heading directly to its waypoint destination. So this right stick here will just speed. So if you move it up, it will go faster. If you move it back, it will go slower. If you move your left stick to the right, it will turn to the right. And move it to the left, it will turn to the left. But you'll remain on that waypoint path. So now you can see I'm moving backwards actually. But I'm still flying in the correct direction. I'm going to speed it up here, go around 12 miles an hour until we get to our destination. So you can see with this application, I also have full airspace awareness. So all these little red areas are either schools, hospitals, or prisons. And then you, can, you have your controlled airspace over here, like this is the St. Petersburg Airport. And you can see in these grid spaces, uh, you can fly up to 200, 300, or 400 feet based on which Lance grid you're in. So I'm going to switch to the FPV view just by tapping in the upper left-hand corner. And you'll sort of see where I'm heading. So I found a house over here that has kind of an empty yard where we can make our drop-off pretty quickly. And it has a maximum speed of around 18 miles an hour, just so the package doesn't come up and get caught in the propeller. And I'll also show you the uh, landing algorithm when we get there. But yeah, just make sure that when you take off, uh, you actually take off first, attach the package, and then tap launch. And you can see here I have an abort button. That will automatically resume manual control at any time if anything looks like it might be going wrong. So you can see here I'm approaching my destination. And I put a little Zing landing pad out here. Not all pilots have the Zing landing pad initially, but when you do get it, you'll see how cool this is. We use uh, computer vision and machine learning to actually detect where that landing pad is on the screen. And then using where the landing pad is, pad is on the screen, we can actually move the drone around and uh, it'll land directly on top of that. So we're approaching the end of our waypoint mission right now.
You can see now we're back in GPS mode. And I'm going to tap the land button to start the autonomous landing. So you can see it's outlining the Zing landing pad in orange because it's uh, detecting it right there. And it's not a very windy day, so this should be pretty accurate. I'm not touching the sticks at all. It's uh, landing by itself over here. All right, so we got 30 feet, 25 feet, 20 feet. And it should be right around 15 feet is where it drops off that package. Nice. So you can see right when it dropped off the package, it released it. And now um, I'm just going to ascend back up. And you can either tap return home or you can fly back manually. I'll tap return home just to show it to you. So you can see it's uh, getting to the correct altitude. And now it's starting back on the mission back to where we started from. And I'll speed it up to max speed here at 18 miles an hour. So yeah, guys, that pretty much covers it. The app is really easy to use. As you can see, it's got a nice, simple, user-friendly interface. Uh, you can easily switch between the map and the uh, normal view over there. Let's see where I'm at. Oh, and another thing is you see these little red dots here. That's actually ADSB air traffic in real time. So you can actually see where the air traffic is while it's moving. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then you can see here on the map, we uh, can see exactly where, where we are on our waypoint mission. So yeah, guys, if you want to fly autonomously, you can with this app. Uh, you can either fly manually or autonomously when making deliveries. But this Zing Pilot app makes it pretty easy to fly autonomously. Have a great day, and I hope to see you flying on our platform soon.